Today I'm gonna to talk about how I run with a phone in the summer. Eight point zero six miles, seven minutes, 53 seconds per mile today. Enjoying an absolutely beautiful sunrise along the lakefront here in Chicago. It's definitely sunrise season here. The colors are more intense and the clouds usually cook off as soon as the sun breaks over the horizon. So it just makes for some fantastic views as you run early in the morning. So for those of you who are getting up early, your efforts are certainly rewarded. Now today what I wanna to talk about is being able to run with a phone and specifically a phone in the summertime, especially if you don't wanna hold it in your hand. In the wintertime, it's not a big of a problem because there's usually thicker clothes, more pockets, or even you're running with a pack that it's not as big a deal. You can find a place to put the phone, but in the summertime, it's getting hotter. You want your materials to be lighter, thinner, and the pockets tend to get smaller. So what do you do in that situation? Now, I guess for a lot of you, first of all, you might wonder why you even wanna run with the phone at all. Why not just leave it at home? So for some people, that's their only way that they're tracking their pace and distance. They might not have like a dedicated uh, GPS watch that they're using so that might be important that way but for a lot of people and for me it's just music uh, that's the main reason that you would run with the phone so you can have something to listen to in your earbuds but also there's a safety issue to it so if you're going somewhere where uh, you're concerned that you might need to contact someone what if you get hurt along the route uh, or just to make sure you have a way of contacting someone if you get into any sort of safety situation that's another reason why you might want to have a phone for example uh, when I ran the tunnel marathon uh, outside of Seattle earlier this year, uh, they strongly recommended that you run that marathon race with a phone. Now, races are one place where I tend to not have a phone, but for that one they did because there aren't regular aid stations on that point to point course. And so they wanted you to run with your phone. So that way, in case you got hurt or needed someone to come help you come find you, you had a way of contacting people. So that's the why of it. But the problem is that, like I mentioned, the pockets are just getting so small in the summertime. Shorts are getting shorter, five inch shorts, three inch shorts, split shorts. Some shorts don't even have pockets. Uh, so where, so where do you put it? Um, there's some solutions that I will just outright uh, not look at and that is mainly anything that goes on the arm because we're talking about summertime and heat I just don't want I don't even want sleeves on a shirt when I'm running in the summertime uh, a lot of times we're getting to the point where I'm probably gonna not even bother with a shirt at all and so an armband just seems weird especially as phones are getting so big it's like you're having like body armor on yourself as you're running and that's just not something that I really want to have to deal with uh, other things that I tried are a running vest. Now, most of the time, I'm very lucky where I can either plan my route or along my route here in Chicago, there's water support. So water fountains, other places where I can hydrate so I don't have to carry my water with me. And so I don't normally run, run with a running vest in the summertime. When I do, there's usually pockets that I, like if I went back in Iowa and running in the trails back there, then I can usually put the phone in one of the pockets in the running vest. And that usually works out pretty well. What I found though is I don't really like running with a running vest in the summer at all if I can avoid it uh, because again, I like to run in a tank top or singlet. Um, the straps on the running vest tend to cut into me. Um, if I run without a shirt and just a running vest, then I get a lot of chafing, so that's not comfortable either. And just this having this hard like brick near my, like I'm pretty bony up here, um, tends to get uncomfortable after a while. So that's not really my favorite, but if I'm running with a running vest, that's where the phone will go. The other thing that I've been recently trying is a flip belt. So that's one of these things. It goes around your waist, uh, has a whole bunch of kind of pockets where you could stash stuff. For this particular run, this is what I wore. Uh, you put the phone in here and then you flip it over. And then what I usually do is um, I put the phone in the small of my back. That's where it tends to bounce 
the least. And, and that works out really well. I've also done another run with it uh, for the Zoom Fly 3 video. I, I wore this flip belt. Uh, and then I also put two gels in it too. And you can also put your keys, although I usually like to keep my keys separate from the flip belt because I usually have one little pocket where keys can go in, in most of my shorts. So I ran with it then and it all works really well, but this material is super thick and it's dual layer because it's creating a pocket. And um, this particular one, I ran in this one yesterday, now it's the following morning and this thing is still wet. And so I don't want to have to buy multiple of them so I can run in them like regularly. And it's when I came home from the run of the footage you just saw, the article of clothing, clothing that had absorbed the most sweat was that flip belt. Now it didn't bother me too much because it's around the waist and you don't feel like you're, it's making you hotter. Like a, a, a t-shirt with sleeves makes me feel hotter when it's completely drenched in sweat. I didn't have that problem, but it was noticeable for the entire run. So I think as temperatures start to cool and I'm wearing like long tights or in that transition zone where I'm still in kind of summer running shorts uh, and summer pockets, but it's a little bit cooler. I think that's where I'll probably use this the most frequently. Uh, but for the summertime, it's still not my favorite. I think ultimately my recommendation for you guys for the summer is going to be finding shorts that have a pocket big enough to comfortably carry a phone. And there's kind of two categories that I'll, I'll steer you towards. One is like trail shorts. Now, uh, most trail shorts are full of pockets because they know you're gonna be out there for a long time and they have different stash zones for keys and for gels. And then usually there's a zipper pocket in the small of your back for your phone. Now, just because there's a pocket in the back doesn't mean the phone will fit in there. I've got a pair of TCA tights that have a zipper pocket in the back that I bought specifically for the purpose of putting a phone in there. My phone doesn't fit. Uh, Roadrunner Sports, they have two sets of running shorts that are about the same length, about the same cut. One is like the trail version. It's like a five or six pocket short. And one is like a one pocket or two pocket short. It only has the zipper pocket in the back. It's kind of not for trails. The trail version fits my iPhone 7. The other one, doesn't and so you have to kind of look in the comments uh if you're like on amazon or, or any website that has comments or kind of user reviews and see if you can actually fit a phone in there the rotor ones with the multiple pockets that one will fit my iphone 7. anything bigger than that might be a tight squeeze so if you're looking for if you have a bigger phone you're probably gonna be looking at like a flip belt option um, or you're gonna be looking at the second kind of shorts option that i've seen that i've used which is um, the pockets on tights. So the half tights that I like, also from Roadrunner Sports. Full disclosure, um, they don't know that I'm making this video. They're not paying me to kind of plug their stuff. Neither is Flip Belt. Uh, these are just the experiences that I I've had so far this summer running with the phone. Um, the half tights that I, I ran the tunnel marathon with uh, have two pockets on the side. One is a zipper pocket. One is just a slip-in pocket. And those both fit my phone really well. Uh, for the tunnel marathon, I had a phone and two gels on the left-hand side and, a, and two gels on the right-hand side. So plenty of room in there. It does get to be like a little bit bulky when you're looking at it, uh, but everything fits and you can run and doesn't feel like you're carrying a whole bunch of extra stuff and it doesn't make you feel like you're hotter than you otherwise would be. So that's one that I, I really recommend. And those half tight pockets can definitely fit a phone that's bigger than an iPhone 7. How much bigger? I don't know because I don't have a bigger phone, but it definitely there's room in there for more stuff. So that's one that I also really recommend. So unfortunately, there's no like miracle option for carrying a phone when you're running, especially as phones are getting bigger and bigger these days. I would love it if uh, Apple would make like an iPhone 4 SE, but like with newer components. I mean, you can even like have knockdown components, make it slower, just put a really good camera in it and put it in that iPhone 4 SE size form factor. I would, I would love that one. Smaller phones, the better, uh, in my opinion. Uh, all I need from it is the camera and the ability to do basic communications. I'm not playing games. I'm not doing anything super technical with it. So that's just my uh, aside. But um, if you have a larger phone, uh, it's gonna get harder and harder, I think, to be able to run with it. And so that's where I think like the future is gonna be pushing more stuff to the watch in terms of all those kind of safety and music benefits that I'm talking about from running with your phone. Um, but 
since that's not an option for everyone, I felt like this video was still kind of important to make. And I have been getting a lot of questions from you guys on Instagram and on Twitter of what I'm doing. So hopefully you've found this helpful and you can find a solution. I'll post links to the shorts that I think work and also to the flip belt and the hydration uh, vest that I use. Although I think there's a version two out now. So I'll post a link to that one, although I haven't tested that one, uh, but it's the same company, same model, just a different uh, version for, uh, I think for 2019. Before I go, uh, I do want to also talk about the charity runner for this week. Uh, this week it's run fair run from Instagram. She's going to be running the Chicago marathon and raising money for world wildlife foundation. Yeah, not Federation foundation, uh, and their conservation efforts. So I was happy to donate $70 to run fair runs fundraising efforts, and I'll post links in the description in case you'd like to learn more. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks for making it to the end of the video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yo, what's going on?